What's happening, YYC? I'm here today with two young entrepreneurs who took a brave step in opening up their business in the middle of a global pandemic. So I'm down today in the Sundance community at Iceberg, the newest, most popping burger spot in the city. I'm here to proudly introduce the founders of Iceberg, Rohan and Muzz. How are you guys doing good, today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, can't complain. So uh, Iceberg, IYYC Berg. What's the, what's the meaning behind that? What's the symbolism? Can we get to have some explanations of that? Yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit to it. You know, it's not just, a lot of people like to call it icy bird, IYYC bird. The idea behind it was to have iceberg, because there's two components to it, right? We have the ice drinks, we have the burgers, so just kind of putting it together. And I was like, how do we localize this? How do we make this more community feel, right? How do we give it that kind of feeling? That's why we got a little cheeky with the name, and threw the YYC in there instead of the ICE. So that was the inspiration behind it, and um, you know we talked about it quite a bit. It was sleepless nights for sure. Yeah. When it comes, and also we wanted to give a name that when people actually figure out the pronunciation, it would be like the Wola moment, right? Uh, and I think that that's that's what we've been seeing so far with a lot of customers. But like, you know, first thing they ask, like. How do you pronounce your brand? Yeah. And when they see iceberg, then they're like, oh, yeah, I was right, it is iceberg. So I think it's a, it's kind of like a connectivity with the people. And that's what our aim was from day one, you know, make it iceberg for people's brand. Yeah. No, I love that. Cause I was definitely one of those people. I remember when I pulled up, I was like, what's going on? Is there a typo or something going on? And then uh, there was a moment, I remember I heard someone say iceberg and it just hit and it sunk in. Um, but yeah, I love it. So let's talk about um, Sundance. So you guys are located in the Sundance community. Why did you feel like it was important to bring something like this to this part of town? Because typically you would see a burger joint target like 17th Ave or somewhere where um, where there's a lot of people. So what, uh, what made you bring it over here? And exactly the points that you mentioned, right? So you would think of a burger joint, of a hip burger joint in downtown. But what about all the people that live down south? don't want to go to downtown on a day-to-day -day basis especially in the middle of a global pandemic right you want to limit your movements as much as possible you want to go to more local places that you can walk to you can do a five-minute drive to and there hasn't been a lot of places that have opened up in Sundance over the past you know, I don't know 15 20 years I mean Buzz has lived in the community for a long time yeah. he knows. I grew up in Sundance I actually went to high school in Sundance and then went to University of Calgary after that so you know this used to be a flower shop. I mean, uh, flower shop was here for the last 27 years. And so there hasn't been a lot of excitement in the community for quite some time now. And we wanted to change that. I know there's a lot of establishments, great establishments that open up in 17th Avenue, downtown, but we wanted to change that culture a bit. We want to be like, hey, South can be cool as well. And I think that's exactly what we've achieved, we managed to achieve, and people are feeling like, you know, we're, they're actually very thankful of it. And they're, they're enjoying the fact that Iceberg opened up Sundance as a flagship first store pioneer in Sundance. Mm -hmm. So how's the community response been, especially opening up in the middle of a global pandemic? Yeah, I mean, the response has been phenomenal, you know, it's so good. I mean, we were not expecting that. Um, the expectations were high. We definitely thought we're in a good location and we do well. But wow, the lineups really surprised us, especially in the middle of the pandemic. During the time, you know, when Alberta's economy is doing so well, but people really wanted to come out and support a local brand. And the number of times I've heard people say, you know, you guys are local, we want to come out and support you. That's just been phenomenal. So we're very thankful for the community that we have around us and for everyone that's come and visited us from all different parts of the city as well. Yeah, and you know, because we're so close to the heart of the season, so spirits are just generally high as well. So people are really like coming and supporting local during this Christmas season. Usually the trend is changing and the perception has changed with a lot of consumers, especially during this year due to the global pandemic, that you know they want to support local. Even the Alberta government have been saying, you know, support your local businesses, whether it's restaurants, buy their gift cards. And people have just been thrilled, you know, something new open in Sundance. And it felt like they were part of the story as we were constructing this place. You know, our Instagram, people were following our construction story, and when we did finally open, you know, they come in here, they already felt part of the brand. So response has been phenomenal. Customers really liking the food, the service, the atmosphere. Again, back to the original question. Their comments are they feel like they're in downtown, you know, they feel like they're in 17th town without that 30 minute drive. 
So it's 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 been very overwhelming and it's very humbling to say the least. No, that's awesome. And I mean, you guys must be doing something right to have that kind of reception. Um, but that's one of the things I love about Calgary. I love the support, um, the support for local businesses, and especially during this time, I think it's more important than ever. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. So I, I know you guys have just opened, but uh, as an entrepreneur, you always want to think big, right? So do you guys plan on expanding, um, adding more locations, new locations, or um, is that way too far in the future? You know, like, I'm going to tell you, you have two very different personalities here. <laughs> one likes to stay very grounded and one likes to reach for the sky, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's why I say this partnership works really well between the two of us. Um, but I think both of us can agree on the fact that we want to have this location established first. Obviously, you know, as an entrepreneur, you want to have more locations, you want to have bigger business, you want to have the business in different parts of the city. Um, but as far as we go, I think we want to establish this location first and then uh, look at maybe expanding a bit more. And I'm sure Buzz has some ideas that he would Yeah, share. no, it's, it's only been three to four weeks <laughs> since we have opened, but the amount of people that asked us, like, when are you guys opening in North? When are you guys opening in downtown? We are driving 30 minutes just to come to Sundance, open something closer to our communities already. So, which is fantastic, you know, for the brand, which is literally three to four weeks old, to have such a response and to have some already a respect built for in terms of food quality, it's phenomenal. Yes, you know, the plan is we want to have a bigger positive footprint in the city, but we want to do it the right way. So obviously we want to make sure this location itself is established. If we don't want to give short anything to Sundance people, we want to make sure we're completely uh, set up, our foundations are strong. And then, of course, you know, as entrepreneurs, we wouldn't be entrepreneurs if we weren't thinking about the future. And we want to have a positive contribution to the community. And the only way possible is if we have multiple locations, if we grow our business, uh, I think everybody with us will, will grow in some way or another. For sure, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm on board with that, but just make sure you don't expand to Edmonton. <laughs> so, I mean, they don't deserve good burger spots like this. Just keep it local, keep it in the city. Um, but uh, what would you say you want to be known for as a business, in terms of involvement with the community? What, uh, what do you want people to think of when they think of the Iceberg brand? I think the number one thing that I think about, you know, our philosophy from the beginning has been fresh food, never frozen, using local ingredients. So, you know, we go as far as getting meat delivered to us three times a week. Sometimes we have to go pick it up. Because again, we want to make sure our meat is never frozen. We're giving the best quality meat that we can to our customers. And at the same time, you know, staying local, we're using Alberta beef. It's 100% Alberta beef. We don't add anything to it. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to be known for you know, providing the freshest possible food you can get at good prices and um, good quality. You know, for the longest time, for like last decades, um, you know, fast food has four synonyms, right? Um, it's quick, it's cheap, it's processed, and it's unhealthy. You know, we don't like the two synonyms of it. The other two we appreciate, we want to be part of it, which are obviously quick and cheap. The other two, we kind of want to change. So whenever you hear fast food, it's one of the words that come up is obviously unhealthy and processed. And that's exactly what we don't want iceberg to be known as. Our food is never processed, especially our meat. It's fresh meat, both never frozen. And, um, you know, when I say healthy and healthy fast food don't go hand in hand. But here at Iceberg, we can do a lot of your burgers in a lettuce wrap. And, you know, being meat never processed, it actually adds that health component to it. So we want to make sure our iceberg is known for a quick, cheap, healthy and never processed. And you know, we kind of want to be iceberg to be a movement in a way that we change that perspective of fast food for years to come. And obviously, as Roman said, we want iceberg to be people's brand. You know, we want people, whether whichever we community we open in, whether it's Sundance, whether it's Killarney downtown, we want to be connected to the people of the local community. You know, so that's always going to be our vision. You know, we want to be involved in the community and it always will be people's brand. And that's, I think that's the core of Iceberg. Cool, cool. And how about uh, dietary restrictions? Do you guys cater to different, let's say if someone is, uh, you know, gluten-free or vegetarian, do you guys have options for that? 
Yeah, I mean, we have a number of different options and uh, you know, you might not see them all listed on the menu, but we try to accommodate every type of uh, customer that we get. Uh, we can obviously gluten-free, uh, we do lettuce wraps. Our buns are actually completely vegan. They use no egg or dairy in them. So, you know, if somebody has an egg or dairy allergy and they want to get a beef burger, they definitely can because our buns are completely vegan and we don't add any eggs or dairy to our meat itself. It's just pure meat. Um, we are completely halal. Our entire menu is halal as far as even the bubble tea. Um, you know, a lot of different places will have gelatin in their um, boba toppings. We don't. Um, and, uh, you know, we're working on accommodating different customers as they come. You know, every day we learn something new. You know, yesterday we had a question about how can we do non dairy motions. So, you know, we're like, that's kind of a, that's kind of a, you know, yeah, so why not? Yeah, but let's see how we can try to do that. And yeah, vegetarian options, absolutely. We have our samosa burger, which has really been a fit, even with, uh, you know, meatitarians, as I like to call them. Um, it's a potato yes. samosa, and we put our house sauces on it, but then we can run. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like since Iceberg is people's brand, we don't want any uh, community left out. You know, we want all community of Calgary or wherever we open in the future to be part of it. You know, you on a typical day, uh, in normal conditions, non-pandemic conditions, you see a lot of ethnicities, a lot of different communities come in trying food, and which is which is phenomenal to see. And you know, I think. We are a step closer to our main goal, which is people's brand. It's like you see all different ethnicities coming into our doors of Iceberg in Sundance, you know, trying their food. And the only way possible is we have to kind of give options to all these dietary restriction groups. And, and that is that is essentially the core of Iceberg. We want to be open to everybody. Yeah. All right. That's amazing. Love what you guys are doing. I know you're both uh, very busy gentlemen, so I don't want to keep you too long. I hear the orders coming in in the background. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Every time I've been here, I've had an amazing experience. Customer service has been great. The burgers have been amazing. If you're watching, definitely come check out Iceberg, the most popping burger spot in the city. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much.